like for a while. That's just me though. I'm, you barely ever see my my kids on the, on my shit. So I'm I I agree with you personally, right. <laughs> but generally I'm just like I mean do what you want, but. Bro, I, I literally followed this girl the other day that was like, there was some dude out here posting her kid on his page, talking about, oh, this is my son, blah, blah, blah. His name's Cam, and blah, blah, blah. He's seven. Her kid. She's like, I have no idea who this man is. Literally had to go report his shit. Yeah. He just took all the pictures nah. of her kid and just framed it like it's his. And like, dog, that is That's crazy. what I'm saying. Like, what the fuck? Like, this is a chick that I followed just the other day. Yeah. So I agree on, on yeah. That's what I'm but saying. But at the same time, it's, I don't know. It's, it, my thing it's, is... It's a, it's a difficult topic. It's a difficult topic, I think. My like, thing, what age do you let them? Because it's like, you know, you don't want them to be behind digital shit. You want them to be able to navigate it to, to, source, to a certain degree. You know, at what point do you pop the bubble? Well, you know? I mean, for real, if she was smart, she probably, like... Because they're going to get it eventually. They're right? going to get it eventually. If, if, if she was smart, she'd probably, like, date somebody that was really, like, technically inclined and had the ability to, like, talk to some people to make, like, an app or something, you know? kind of dope but just for kids yeah she knew somebody like that probably had a couple billion you know disposable make her, <laughs> make, make her app know. Or something. It's like, no. i mean you know <laughs> but no i think maybe i think that maybe. should be that should be uh that should be part of her product line i think if she uh, she's a very smart woman with a very smart family she should take this backlash and be like all right i'll make an app for kids In the same great way to start it up. I mean, the same way you got verified age. But it's like, how do you keep adults out? That's out? That's my name thing. The same way you got verified age and shit. They just figure, figure out a way where. It's like, there could always be some adult to. Yeah, it's got to be a way, but I don't know. That's what I'm saying. They got, I don't know. Blockchain something. They got they got a lot of technology out here. They'll figure some shit out. Because every adult, every kid lives with an adult. They can just move you off the computer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, Yo. the phone <laughs> shit. Like. Yeah, there's no safe space for kids on the internet oh, at all. See, like, but you at see, all. Like, but then you throw them in a mix with TikTok. Come on, yo. It'd be cool if she was like up there. But doing... it's like then they not in the mix with TikTok. Then it's like they don't know what the fuck is going on, right? Now all their friends are talking about shit. They are constantly out of the loop. They're getting information that they're not getting. This there is like a downside to that too, you know, socially. Now you're having a harder time to make friends and this and that. And oh, they all laughing oh, at no. this joke. You don't get the She's joke. Content. I was about you know to say what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. I was about to say they should make it. I mean, viewer. even looking at TikTok is still like, you know, probably too much for a lot of little kids. Probably shouldn't have the app at all. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's tough though. Especially when you're a celebrity and it's like, well, it's gonna be a camera in your face whether you like it or not. You know? I don't know. I get both sides of that argument, though. Exactly. I get both sides. Exactly. That's yeah. why I say, like, I don't like it. I mean, they're a whole, they're a whole conglomerate, so they're gonna. She's gonna start making some Kylie Jenner money soon. <laughs> they about to put her ass in that farm soon. <laughs> like, like, oh yeah. Get your ass to work. Yeah. Yeah, that whole family gets money. All right, you ain't getting no more free likes out here. <laughs> they go viral. Thanks. We go viral in this household. We we'll go to college. We go viral. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure they all got degrees. That's, that's for all of them. That's for all of them. I don't even know how we got on Kim Kardashian at all. A hell of a tangent. We were talking about Kanye first of all. I thought we were talking about <laughs> Kim. Man. Where it went downhill. Oh yeah, about him acting up, and that's uh, the people close to him and pushing buttons. And I don't know yeah. where I can start it. We'll have to rewind it. <laughs> we don't even gotta keep that for real, to be honest. Like, this isn't <laughs> what the, what this episode is supposed to be about? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's more some personal shit. Like, <laughs> but I mean, you know, who knows? Whatever. I know people are talking about that shit, but I don't even want to get into all the politics of the you know music industry sometimes. Like, oh. Uh, that's as far as I go with it. Thing. That's as far as I go with it. I don't really do the shade room shit. Yeah, I feel like everybody's doing that. I feel like everybody, and I feel like I don't want us to get caught up in that shit, but obviously we talk about that shit between me and you or whatever. Like, Right, and that's what I'm saying. I'll talk about the people yeah. that we talk about. Like, Yeah. That's about it. Right. I feel like Gary Vee is going to be a trending topic on this podcast for sure. Like, yeah. It's kind of hard to not mention him. 
you know, he stays ahead of the game. Like it's, it's more like trying to keep up. Right. So that'd be fun. That's why I was like excited when I seen that video this morning. I'm like, oh shit, we was just fucking talking. Fucking. I'm sorry, recorders after. You see, I'm talking about the uh, the V friends too. He no. has like a new drop coming out, right? Mm-mm. What is? I think the... he has a new NFT. He's about to drop. Yeah. What? I, I never, I never even looked into like if he ever even added utility to V friends. I'm not sure. Cause I know I'm not he... sure what the utility is behind. I, I think you can get to the conference. The uh, Ooh, so he has like oh, a okay. so annual conference or whatever. Mm. So it's like, yeah, you can get to the conference. So I'm waiting for like the ASCAP and like shit like that at the Winter Music Conference. Uh, I think um, what's it? What's who is it? South? No, Coachella. They got NFTs. Saw that. Like they were expensive as fuck though, weren't they? Like, well, some of them were cheap, but they had like they were tiered. I think. Yeah, there they were was tiered. some lifetime joints. Imagine owning a lifetime to Coachella NFT. Wasn't that like a hundred k or some shit? I think the one was like a five year pass, I think. But then, the... yeah, it doesn't have to be consecutive. <laughs> like, or can I like break them years up? That'll be my next question. Right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Cause who's gonna go five years in a row anyway? I mean, I guess if you have to, you would. But shit, yeah. And it'd be dope. Yeah. If... Oh man. Cause I'd be thinking about that. Like, what? Like, uh, how how could I? How could like season tickets to a football game? This is you know that's like the thing I've always been thinking about with like uh, NFTs. How to do that where I can allow other people to use them. Like, if it's one NFT and it's a season ticket holder, how can I use, how can I let other people use that NFT? Because they got these things called double signature wallets. And I think that's going to be so dope. Because double signature wallets is going to be the whole uh, leave an NFT as a will type shit. Or leave your wallet as a will type shit. So pretty much you, you put a bunch of shit into a wallet and then you put your signature and then you, you seal the other key away. You took you, you put your signature, you burn your signature, and the only person that can open it is the person with the other key. And then you put that key in your will. I mean, that's one way to use it. That's the way I was looking at it. But I think the double signature wallet is going to be some crazy shit. It's going to be some, it's going to be basically some, you know, some James Bond. You need two keys to open it. I think that's going to be a okay. dope way to transfer shit. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, I can see that. Well, I can put all this information completely, like, just locked, blocked off from the rest of the world and the only person that can get to it. You can plug it in your computer. You can take it apart. You can do anything you want with it. The only person that can do anything else with it is the person who got this other key. I think there's a lot of shit you can do with that. Safety deposit boxes. Yeah, I like that idea. Like wills and... <laughs> yeah. And there's any other way. And I think it's going to... I think it's going to break down to like a... You know, um, one-time only passwords. And I think they're going to be using NFTs like that. Where it's going to be like a... You know, like a double authentication. They're going to need two signatures. So the only people that can get in here is people who use their key and th- and then be able to use this key or some shit, like a public key and a uh, secret key and shit. Yeah, but with straight. Yeah, up. I was like, that sound like something I was learning in security plus. I forgot about a lot of that shit now, but <laughs> yeah, public key, secret key. Yeah, that's what it sound like. They just combining sense. all that shit, and and that's what blockchain is. Block. Yeah. I mean, when you break it, really break it down, it seemed like blockchain was a a uh, bipod about hackers. <laughs> like, how can, I, how can I move this a lot faster? Leave it here, come back for it. <laughs> Just hash it up. Every time that somebody touch it, it'll change it, it'll change the hash. I don't know. Yeah. I did create a blockchain. I meant to show you that before, but we'll, we'll do that another time. But, oh, the articles pretty much is Universal Music buying out Bandcamp. BlackRock 
taking all their music and creating crypto EF, ETFs with them. Um, who who just bought uh, Willie? What was it? Was it Willie Nelson? No, not Willie Nelson. Oh, I was a uh, Neil Diamond. Neil I think. Diamond's catalog. I think Warner Brother. And yeah, do a little got caught copywriting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ain't hear the I ain't hear the original. I always like going back and hearing the original right, and seeing like, what the fuck right, people right. get caught for because sometimes it's just fucking ridiculous. Like, right. I was gonna play it, but know. I'm still worried about man, getting cut off on the stream. Yeah. Facebook being like, nah. Yeah. That's why I was playing the game earlier and I was playing the music just to see how how it would do. I haven't even tested it yet. I mean I ain't even gonna see if it was up there still. Cause they'll just yank that shit down. Twitch will leave it up there. But Twitch won't leave the uh downloaded part up there. I'll just leave the uh they'll let you go live all day but won't let you leave it up there i still got a pop viewer up here they don't keep it on there Mm-mm. but it was dope because last time the viewers like they were leaving the comments and it was popping up on the screen i didn't even know that that was perfect if the video worked so but i think the main thing I even wanted to talk about was that band camp in Universal because I don't know what they're gonna do with that, but it seemed interesting. Even back when we was talking about like the boxing machine, I'm still on that. The boxing machine where you hit it and it hit the uh, plays the oh, music yeah, yeah. and you just go with the beat. That's yeah. where I think. That's where I keep looking at. Anytime I see anything with music hit the metaverse or hit Web three or anything with this stuff, that's the first things I'm thinking about is avatars in the metaverse and having these uh, more interactive uh, experiences or something like this where they creating a whole marketplace with everybody's catalogs with Bandcamp because Bandcamp was the original decentralized marketplace for musicians still is the only place you can go there and then people just give you two dollars or you can put a price or you can give it out for free or anything you wanted there. I think that would be the other yeah. one, like SoundCloud. That would be the closest thing. But you can you can monetize SoundCloud though. Well, yeah, you can't monetize SoundCloud, but you could put anything you wanted up. Like Bandcamp. Right. They're not monitoring samples and it's all fan based. Which is what about a uh, audio Mac? I don't think audio Mac let you do that either. Though. I don't think audio Mac lets you do that. Set prices on Mac. Nah, because um, no, not set prices. No, I don't think you can. Yeah. I don't think you can put cop- copyrighted music on there anymore. I have to think about that. I don't know. I never had no problems uploading anything on audio Mac. I'm talking about anymore. But then again, my shit was always cleared anyway, though. Because uh, DJ Booth is the ones that own Audio Mac, and DJ Booth, I think, got scooped up. Who did it get scooped up by? By, like, uh, Universal Music or somebody. Let me see. Who bought um, Not DJ Booth. What was looking for? Who bought what? Audio Mac? Audio Mac. No, DJ Booth. Myself. I'm just saying, I mean, DJ Booth. Uh, DJ Equipment, Global, OPR, Delivery. Amazon. That's who it was. Amazon by DJ Booth. Who owns Audio Mac? So I think all of that copyright shit is out the window. <laughs> it's probably all on Amazon Music now. Unless they kept the same business model. Amazon bought don't. DJ Booth. Yeah. Hmm. Didn't hear about that. I mean, it happened a few years ago. I'm trying to see what year this article was. Yeah, no, I can't even 
Let's see those dates. But yeah, that was when uh, everybody started doing streaming wars. So everybody just started buying up all the uh, different streaming platforms and um, who I forgot somebody was trying to buy up that piff. But they were trying to buy up that piff, gorilla, spin gorilla. Spin gorilla. Spin gorilla, there you go. <laughs> I knew it didn't sound right when I was saying it. Like spin gorilla. Media Lab. Yeah, in 2019. Yeah, so it was around that time. It was like 2018, 2019, when everybody just started buying up all the free shit. And throwing it on these streaming platforms. And I think that's what's going on okay. again. They're just doing it in a more permanent way. Where they're just grabbing artists' catalogs and now we own them and they're... Like uh, hip song gnosis or whatever that company is. They've been doing, they've been trading songs in the UK on on exchange since like 2018. And that's why I was saying like, yo, they, they, the artist is gonna become stocks and shit. So, I think that's their move. I think they gonna go the crypto route though. And they got this technology where, like, I, I sent you that post where you can buy part of a. Uh, board eight, like we was talking about, the entry level yeah. was high, and then, and then all of a sudden, this ad comes up where it's like, it's, now you can do fractional uh, NFT buying. So now you can own part of somebody's crypto pump, which, which is, also you know uh, reduces your risk, reduces your you risk, know, and uh, that, and the barrier of entry, exactly, and that also solidifies the whole. The, the whole uh, utility play that they're doing with the with the publishing and the royalties and everything. So it's like now they found a way to monetize it through creating bands and TV shows. And now you can have part of this and own part of the royalties that come from it. So I think that's going to be nuts. <laughs> that's where all this shit is going. And it's just a lot. It's like just you gotta figure out. You just gotta do research and get in where you fit. You can't do it all. Definitely, definitely a lot of research. It's the first step. No, and that's that's why I keep looking at these uh, different platforms for music because I know one of them's gonna work. One of them's gonna work, and uh, I see uh, the Breakfast Club messing with one of them. And usually, with the Breakfast Club start messing with something, it's usually it's. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. That's, they know how to stay in business. They've been doing the same thing for like 80 years. <laughs> Still getting the same numbers over and over and over and over. Yeah. And it's moving from, you know, iHeartRadio. So I'm like, if they move into this here platform, I'm going to check it out and see what's really good. Cause they're already active. They're already doing drops. They're already doing like, um, not not the uh, Breakfast Club, but the platform itself. Airdrops to people's wallets already. Um, they got these digital kits when you 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 could buy an artist NFT, and when you buy the artist NFT, you get the other drops that come along with it, and you get um, access to their music and um, shit like that. It's just the crazy th different things that they're doing with this stuff, and it's it's. It's getting there. It's definitely getting there. Warner Brother, Warner Music Group, they're getting into all this uh, blockchain gaming. Um, like a lot of these music groups is getting into the gaming. Uh, Universal Music Group, all into the metaverse and sandbox and all that stuff. So, yeah, they're making their plays. Everybody's making some uh, I think that's going to be the next uh, what we just experienced in NFTs over the last eight months or so or maybe close to a year now. I feel like we're about to have, I mean it's already happening with blockchain gaming but I feel like we're going to see like a spike. We're going to see like a similar trajectory I think 
you know. You said with NFTs. I think it's. I think that. I think that part is like, not with blockchain gaming. It's oh. gonna like, kind of do the same thing NFTs did recently, where it's gonna just pop up out of nowhere and everybody's gonna be talking about it, like, you know, because even Gary Vee hasn't really been super bullish on blockchain. You don't hear him talk about it a whole lot. Mm-mm. You know, he talks about NFTs a lot, but you don't really hear about the blockchain gaming a ton. You know, so I wouldn't be surprised if he started talking about that heavy next. I wouldn't be surprised. And I wouldn't be. Su- my guess is that if he starts talking about it, he'll be talking about it on the Polygon Network. So I would wonder what game it would be. For sure. That's the question. Because once he talks about it, it's, it's late. And but that's the know. thing with these games <laughs> you already now. Know. That's what the games the, with these blockchain yeah. games now. It's all that like but we already like people's already missed the crypto punks. You know what I mean? Like right. the jump into it now will be right. trying to catch the bored apes. And then later okay. on, it's, it's going to be the whole, you know, last six months type NFT situation where now it's popping. Right. But, you know, if you know what you're doing, you're going to make some money. If you don't know what you're doing, you're just going to be in the game for a little bit. Mm. And then it leveled out again. Where everybody now got their games they're playing. They're adding money to the economies and blah, 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 blah. You got the big winners already out. Now everybody's like. And I said, that's kind of like what NFTs is hitting now. It's like, all right, we we know we yeah. all know it's there's plateauing props. a little bit. Exactly. It's plateauing a little bit for sure. Like <laughs> people yeah. are getting smarter. I mean, doing more research. It's like, all right, I don't have to jump on everything. I actually am only interested in these things. I actually like to do trading. Not only that, but now it's the projects that people have been hearing it for forever and just now getting their projects off the ground. It's like, y'all listen, this is the fifteenth minute right now. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like Seriously. you could have gotten it where the getting was really good, and now it's like, Seriously. It, you know who knows? You know, good luck. But that's yeah. what I be saying with these blockchain gaming. If you if you still want to get into the NFT game, that's the way to get to. You don't have to get these crazy Ethereum crazy price um, NFTs. You can get NFTs that'll still function on the Ethereum blockchain, but through a different. I mean, Ethereum network, but do a different blockchain and making you some money. You know what I mean? It's just a different avenue, and it's, it's a lot. So it's, it's a little more footwork you got to do to understand everything. But Which one do you say that had the NFT that was going for, like, 30 racks or something like that? Was it was it Mirror 4? Mirror 4. And that was, was that? Mirror 4, but that was sort of low. Four. Oh, um, it, uh, NFT Worlds. What are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about the game. Well, NFT Worlds is was one. You that, said it was a game where like you can build up enough points and then you can trade it in for an NFT. Oh, that's like... Mirror Four. Oh, okay. So once you get to a certain level, level sixty, and then like a one hundred thousand power score, then you get transferred into an NFT. And you can, and now they are, and now they just um, they just made the uh, metaverse for this game functional to where now they got these NFTs and they're just staking the NFTs and just earning Hydra. And, and, you know all the coins that they're using because Hydra is, a, is a, actually a blockchain technology that they're doing through this game is for uh it's like a zk roll up uh, type situation for larger scale um transactions so just using this game for uh for mining it so anybody's playing is pretty much mining it and you just gotta learn how to you know earn your rewards while mining and one of the ways is through the game mining draco and uh, taking it to the market and putting it in, staking it Hydra, and then, or getting your character to an NFT point, and then, um, and then uh, staking it into the metaverse and just earning as it goes. What is all these? And these just even popping up. But yeah, so it's like that. It's like, um, and that's a free to play game where you create an NFT through playing a game, and then. You know, you can go see the NFTs where, you know, you got level 100s and shit selling for $130,000. What marketplace do they sell on? Um, they sell them right in the We, we Mix. Uh, it's all, all one website. So they got the marketplace, your staking, your uh, wallet, the metaverse, all in one. It's on xdraco.com. So. And, and that should be, you should just be able to go to the Mirror 4 website and find it all. Yeah, I'm gonna check that shit out. I'm gonna see if I can. Yeah, you see what I mean? So close, y'all. I was mad. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, 
<laughs> like it's been like a good like oh two weeks now and now the shit just sitting on my desktop I'm like one of these nights i'm fire this shit up like yeah. all right i was trying to see let me see if this one even fired oh, fuck. last time i wouldn't even do it nothing weird um, but Mirror 4 wasn't loading last time. Like, when when we were live. And it might be just because I got like a, a hundred. You got too much shit, right? <laughs> I got a hundred, bro. Yeah. We can move a little yeah. bit. Oh, no, it's an update. No, nah, I didn't even. <laughs> Watch, look. The update is... Uh... I'm going to show you. I'm going to press update so, just so you can see how big these updates be. I don't even know how big it is, but you know, pause. <laughs> Necessary. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. So I hit update. Yeah. Screen I was at. Yeah, see, this is an update. 239. <laughs> like. yeah. And then once you <laughs> update it, then you open the game and then it'll download what you updated and that's like another 500 megs. I'm like, all right, y'all. Y'all lucky this shit is the shit, though. Oh, man. Did everything just go? I hate when my computer do that. Hold on. Man. That's so stupid when I do that. All right. But yeah, I'm playing that. And there's uh League of Kingdoms. I'm really just Oh and my I've been I'm actually gonna be working on my Minecraft. Well my uplift plots. <laughs> the uplift plots. I'm trying to clean it out so I can start building on that. Cause they about to open that up. I'm about to set the rewards on there, so I'm trying to get my plots together so you know start people start coming. I gotta like have people play on the plot and earn wax rewards or uplifting rewards and Trade it in for other NFTs or money. Yeah. Like, I, I really want them to switch to the uh, Ethereum blockchain. I, I, I can't wait to see how that works. Like, it's just, and that's the dope part about a lot of these projects. It's just, like, being part of it and just seeing how things unfold. And, I mean, being part of the successful ones is always fun. But <laughs> well, uh, nice if that was the only part. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hell no. But and then there's this other uh I see I keep doing there's this other game where I just got into it because uh, the NFT I'm in Rebel Rebel Rabbits, they teamed up with this other Discord called um Oddly Oddlings. Oddlings, so it's a little gamer, it's like a game group uh what do they call it? Online Gamers Club. There you go. An online gamers club, but it's like they, they created an app and they, you know, invited me to the Discord. And so anybody who's in the Discord can go ahead and download the beta test flight app, which is kind of crazy. So now we're just all testers of this app. And if we hit a certain score, then we get whitelisted for the, the NFT. And, and, it, and, it's, and it's a play to earn app. And you know what I mean? Like it's a, it's just, it's just crazy these projects you fall into, you know, once you find that right group of people that's actually out here working. And it's a lot of, it's some, there's some dope people out here doing some really, really cool stuff. Like they out here really putting in some crazy work. It's just interesting. Oh, and in that just popping up every day, like. Exactly. Exactly. And this is where you want to fit in. So I, I even went with that app because it's like, okay, that's cool. I'll play to earn that. I can play on my phone. And it's only a phone app. So I'm like, all right. And it's and it's pretty goddamn fun. So, you know, hopefully I get the high enough score to get whitelisted. But it's still got bugs in it where you fall off the side of the screen and, you know, fall into an abyss that you just keep falling. And, but, um, oh, and in the Discord, yeah. they got this channel where... Is literally just a whole bunch of projects, and they have a setup where anybody in the Discord, and there's only like I think like a hundred people in the Discord right now. You click on it, and you automatically enter to be whitelisted on these all these projects. Like, like you, the, for each project, you got to enter, and then they like have this bot that picks random people to be whitelisted on their projects, and it's like that's the easiest whitelist ever. 
<laughs> like that that's beautiful. I got whitelisted for one yeah. project and it's a it's a project for um for this taco spot. It's an NFT for a taco spot. It's called Paco Tacos. I think there's a couple in California, but I, don't, I haven't seen anything around here. But I just thought it was cool that you know the taco spot got an NFT where you know they got official uh, and real life meetups for uh, these huge Taco Tuesday events, and you know what I mean like I, that's just a cool you know what I mean like NFTs got utilities like that. I just think that's yeah. where it's gonna go. I think that's cool, and I feel like that's why I don't okay. I wouldn't be if I'm selling NFTs is because I bought multiple of them and I want to sell them, but I would never. You know what I mean? These NFTs is like you should you should keep these. These are your keys to the world. Like, you know what I mean? Like you're gonna be the one out there with no NFTs and everybody else having a blast because you can't get anywhere because your wallet empty as hell. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you gotta get a couple in there. You know what I mean? But also like what Gary said, I kind of agree that 99% will probably be worthless. Oh, absolutely. So there's also that. So it's like if you got the sniper hands and you got the you know like. <laughs> Then great, but also so many people that are just holding until the very end, like, oh, you're just gonna lose money, and that's just there's yeah. that too. So, yeah. you gotta you make sure you really believe in the projects that you're buying if you're gonna just hold, you know. Yeah, there is like no... you said, utility will, will will keep the value in long term, utility will exactly, you know. And any N- NFT that I hold right now, I have like, I've I have received. A, an immense v- a value from all of them. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not out here just buying a whole bunch. Well, no, there's a whole, there's a few I have that, I, but I didn't buy them. There was a whole bunch just being dropped in there. And, but then I have a bunch of NFTs for games. And that's really it. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't understand why people are out here just buying NFTs left and right if you don't really have a, if, that's me coming from a utility mind. <laughs> if there's no utility, I'm not buying it. It's not, it's not even a, Man, <laughs> I get I get the flipping. It's a lot stuff. of money in flipping, though. I know, you know what I'm saying? It's I know. a lot of money in flipping. Like it's that's that. Yeah, so to me, that's not yeah. that's not. I'm not. I get both. I get yeah. It depends on what what your uh, investing style is. Exactly. Right? Like I like flipping. I like day trading crypto. But if it comes to NFTs, I'd rather just buy NFTs and play blockchain blockchain games and and do the flipping mm-hmm. that way. Uh, but I mean, would I do it? Yes. Is that gonna be? Is that something that I'm jumping towards? No. If I do see, because I have, a, I have a bunch of websites where I can sit there and do some real NFT day trading for real. But it's like that's just another, you know, what I mean, that's just another whole. That's a lot of research I have to do right here to do that while I'm doing this other stuff. If I wanted to take the time out to do it, yeah. there is a very pragmatic way to go ahead and do it and actually make some real fast money doing it you know just like any other day trading type activity once you get the right graphs in front of yeah. you and the right patterns you're looking for and this is a little different yeah with nfts uh, you're looking for different types of dumps and pumps and activities per minute and shit like that right oh uh, my okay. yeah like you said it's all all about your investment style you know and, and you know, I feel like most people probably have like some type of mixed bag. You know, you have your long term bag and your short term bag, and this and you know exactly. I, and I think that's the best way to put way it. To, smart, smart way to put it. Yeah, it's probably the best way to put it. That's the best way to put it because your long term, your short term, your long, your short term doesn't have to be day trading. There's a there's a lot of short term. Your long term doesn't have to be holding an NFT. There's a lot, a lot of other long terms. One of my right. long terms is I got right. I, I put I put some crypto in a bot. And over time, I just add to it. I don't, I don't trip when the price starts dropping. I don't trip, you know what I mean? Because it's just buying the dip, and then hopefully it comes up. And in worst case scenario, I have a whole bunch of stock that I, it, that you know, <laughs> that's in my portfolio that I, that that I want in my portfolio in the first place. See why is this shit opening? Yeah, it's just too much shit on. I thought I was gonna do that for me. Nope. But then yeah, so. That'll be like a long term. There we go. That would be like a long term. A long term would be holding some type of passive income, um, like land. That's why I'm like really interested. In. Yeah. Yeah, some damn yeah. land. Like if you want to talk about not working and making money, that's part of. <laughs> yeah. And you want to pay taxes. Right. <laughs> That's the only problem, like having land in the real world. It's like you gotta pay taxes on that shit. Facts. Oh, they'll yeah. find a way. 
Oh, eventually, eventually. Just gotta get your money first for the. Right. <laughs> oh shit! It opened. It, it started. Hold up. I'm gonna uh, try to split. share the screen so you can see what, at least what it looks like. Boom. It's just like super loud. Uh, go. Alright, you can see it. Oops. Whoops. Hold it up. Where did it go? Alright. See? <laughs> Can't even start it. But yeah. Yeah, that's what the graphics and shit look like. It's, it's lit. I can't even see it. Oh, you can't? It's like it's still loading. Oh, it's, it's still, yeah, it's still loading because it's still got to do a, a big ass download. I'm talking about the Discord thing. It's still like. Oh, it's not loading. All right, let me try it again. All right. See it now. It's just fun as hell. They ain't, the game. they ain't the game graphics. I don't play with me like that. Like that's the game. They, 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 that's it. I try to catch you with the nah. It's a trailer. <laughs> Show me the actual game graphics. You know, what I mean? maybe catch oh, okay, you with okay, that okay, shit. Okay. Like oh yeah, no, it, it like is yeah, you cinematic. play the actual game and then it's like yeah, <laughs> it's hella cinematic. No, you're right. a little trick. This little trick they do in the video game industry. <laughs> Screw these dope ass cutscenes. You should. You should see how this uh, this Minecraft look. See if I can open this one up without crashing my computer. Uh, a lot of shit open. I was like, you doing a lot. You doing a lot right now. It says it's already playing somewhere. <laughs> Where the hell is it? Hold up. Got red in the background. Mm -hmm. I do not see this game playing somewhere. Oh, here we go. It is playing somewhere. Alright. Share this one so you can see what this look like. Cause this shit kinda of fire too. Um, stop this. Boom, 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 boom. 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 How do I have three things open? It's weird. Um but you see it? Yeah. All right. Boom. So it's uplift. Go up in here. So one of my plots is like all water. So what I did was, uh, you see this shit leaking. So what I did was, I can see if I'm up or down right now. Oh, shit, I'm over here. I'll go down here so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm just cutting it out because I went underground and now I'm trying to make a whole bunker without it springing a leak. <laughs> so it's like every time I go through, I'm cutting it up and then like water will bust through and I gotta like close it up. So I'm just running through here trying to clear up this spot because it's like I'm completely underground. So I'm putting all this glass up. She reminds me of Duke Nukem. You know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> So I just been clear. I'm literally like underground. I'm just clear, trying to clear up this spot. So I put this up just in case they flood it. <laughs> Don't fuck up all this shit. I've been working on. It. So just trying to clear this whole spot. I got lava over there and shit. I'm like so far underground right now, but I'm trying to clear it all out and I'm, I'm creating an arcade in here. It's gonna be a blockchain arcade. 
It's going crazy. You heard it okay. here. You heard it here first. <laughs> I'm going to clear all the way up through, like, all the way down to the bedrock, all the way up to the sky. And it's going to be, like, some multi-level ass. Because I can put, like, portals in here and pictures and NFTs and... Like I, this is a complete metaverse world where I can just build. It's just using Minecraft, like just using the mechanics of Minecraft. And there's this water on that side, so that I'm like, hope, huh? It was that an axe? Oh, you can you can break anything with um in Minecraft. You can break anything. You can break a block with anything in Minecraft. The axe is used for like once I break a block like this, and I want to break the shit out of it, then I'll use the axe. But I'm still learning. Like, my little niece, I used to buy her all these games. I just never played myself, but she was, like, so into it. I just always watch. I just always watch. And now I'm like, I understand. It's so, like, this is so dope that kids were playing this, like, that much. Because you got to craft everything in here. You got to craft your weapons. You got to craft the table to, that you have to craft weapons on. You got to craft the stove that you got to craft coal and everything in. And you got to make your own armor. You got to you gotta build your own farms and breed your own animals. It's like a whole survival game. But they took the game aspect and just made it a world where I can create a whole farm on here. I can... I can, I can Put a uh, box in here. Put an NFT in it, and then um, and then sell it <laughs> right in in this world. Put a price on it and sell it right in this world. I can put shops in here. I can buy. I can make farms and cre uh, that'll create materials that other players will need that they want to use, and they'll just come to my plot because every plot is different. Because my this plot might have a whole bunch of diamond at the bottom of it. Somebody else's plot might have a whole bunch of, like, you know, sapphire and shit. You know what I mean? Just a whole bunch of different materials that you would need for building your plots. And you could just build houses and just build in a world where people could come and shop and play games. You can build games on your plots. Right now, I got, like, five plots um, on two different servers. I want to get some more, but I, have, I want to put these together first. And what's the uh, above ground should look like? Just like, yeah, let me see. Because I gotta get up there. I, I'm like pretty much trapped on the ground until I build this out, <laughs> but I can go to a um, trap. <laughs> well, to not, dig your way out. I trapped myself under it because I want to build it out. Server, but I have another. This is Genesis server. I have another piece on Uplove. Here, this is my other. This is the, my other spot on this server. Okay. This is a whole, you know, world out here. Wait, is this Minecraft or this Uplift? This is Minecraft. Was, oh, I forgot. And in, in this, and in this version, it's survival mode. So now I gotta like watch my health and shit before I die. But this is this is Uplift. It's just built on Minecraft servers, and that's what people are doing now. They're just. Uh, I mean, this company was doing it like in, since like 2017. They was putting this together. So eight, I think it was 17 or 19. I remember reading, but um. You're playing Uplift right now. Yeah, this is Uplift. And the only difference is they okay. put a decentralized layer on top. So anything I put in here, anything I create, I can make money and... and um, you can keep it. And... Yeah. So right now, I'm like... I'm right. Just my land alone is just creating Uplithium, which is the in-game currency, Uplithium. And so since I have land, I'm just I'm just gaining Uplithium by the hour just, just for having it. And then as I play on it, I earn rewards for... They don't never tell you what actions give you what rewards because they don't want people gaming the system and they just want people to just come out here and be creative. Like so, sometimes they'll give you points for killing monsters. Sometimes they'll give you points for exploring. Sometimes they'll give you points for building stuff. Sometimes they'll give you points for mining shit. So it makes it so people just in here just playing the game and doing your thing. And you just go around and see other people's plots and stuff. But I haven't been exploring like that. And this is the survival world. So. Wait, how do I see myself? Whoops, I'm not doing that. See, I'm still learning how to even. Whoops. Give me my damn torches back. But yeah, I need to call my niece so she can tell me how to do this shit. 
What the hell? Weirdo. But um, but yeah, this is my spot in here. Actually, somebody else built this one. I just bought the plot, so I might tear it down and uh redo it. And then you go down here, you can start getting attacked by shit if you don't have enough light. Cause this is survival mode. So, but he put he, he lit it up pretty nice. But I gotta keep digging to see what else is down here. But if I keep digging, then I'll get caught up by some zombies and shit trying to kill me. And it, when the sun goes down, if you don't got enough light, they um then they spawn and you know attack you and shit. Like it's a crazy game. While you're trying, it's just this is in survival mode. The other one is Genesis. Let me just run around real quick, see. Cause this is my spot, so I can dig up the. Wait, this isn't my plot. This is my plot. Oh, I can't use this in this mode. I could, I just can't. So in this mode, I can't just break shit. I gotta use an axe in this mode. But in like creative mode, I can just break whatever. Whatever. I can break it with a leaf and shit if I wanted to. But yeah, you can go out here. Like I said, I haven't been out and about like that, so I don't want to roam too far and get caught up at night and shit. Scary. Yeah. How you scared in the metaverse? Right. It's because it's fucking around get lost. There ain't got no maps and shit on here. <laughs> I'm fucking around die. But yeah, people just running around building shit all over the place. See? What happens if you die? You, you can't play the game no more. It's like, nah. <laughs> oh, shit. Nah, they just, they just spawn you back. Oh, I it, thought you did. But if you don't... I'm about to say, like, no. <laughs> they go hardcore like that. Like, it just... <laughs> <laughs> they do have like hardcore, hardcore modes and shit, but um, yeah. nah, it's not even. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but then the, the, if you don't know how to play the game, then if you're not if you don't set up your bed and all this shit, like this is a whole bunch of shit. Like I, I don't know how to really play it like that well, but it's so super interesting. And the fact that I get paid to learn how to play it, I'm cool with that, you know. So, <laughs> but um, they spawn you in a random spot if you don't have like a bed set up somewhere in your house. And there's like places where they'll spawn you, and then you'd have to have to walk back because you can't fly in in survival mode. So they'll, they'll spawn you like eight thousand blocks away and shit. Now you got to find your way back. And this is the only map you get. You get coordinates. That's <laughs> it. You get days to walk back. <laughs> you get coordinates and shit. But I'm trying to see so you can see the character, but I ain't trying to show. Him. I ain't trying to show. Lame. I wish I knew how. So yeah, I would just go up in here. But I'm like really interested because people be like building all these dope ass contractions and like these uh they like automate like. I don't know resources and shit. They just be creating resources and being able to sell them all throughout the uh, the land. And this is shaders. This is, I got I put like mods on here, so that's why it looks all crazy, like cinematic, like that. It's got shaders on it. But yeah, it's 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 pretty dope what they're doing over there. But I, I'm literally just now being able to, this is the, like the most I've been able to, because <laughs> I've just been like trying to put it together, and the other one I was just trying to dig it out and shit, then, I don't know, I'm trying to build that one out, but, so I'm gonna just go to that one before I, because survival mode, I'm gonna fucking die over here, so, that's why the only thing I do is come over here, put him by a light, so you're not going down. Huh? It's the sun going down. Yeah, exactly, put his ass by a light right here, so, <laughs> when he leave. On the roof. killing this motherfucker, right? <laughs> All right, boom. Oh, I want to go to the other, back to server genesis. It'll take me back to my spot here, and I got three plots on this server, so it's just three creative plots I can put here, and then three, um, and then two on the other one. So it's two survival plots on the other one. So I want to build like survival games on them shits too. Why so. well, can't? So yeah, right now I'm just trying to dig my way out this motherfucker. It's just so much. Yeah, in, like creative mode, you can fly. 
I can go up here and if need be. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna be doing for a little bit. <laughs> over here. Straight up, I'm trying to dig That's this nice. hole. It's all water up here. That's why I'm like nervous as fuck. Cause it's like, because you see on this on the corner, I put the subtitles on. Cause now I can hear like where water is. If I'm too close to water, lava pops. You hear that? So when you're underground, you can hear when like zombies and shit are coming. You come by the walls. I know where the water is. All that is water. Like so, like literally, if I break that. Oh, you know what? See, the, the physics be crazy sometimes. Let me see. See, <laughs> I was like flooding, bitch. And that's water. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm trying to build it. I'm trying to build. I'm in like a duck underwater, and I'm trying to like hollow it out without water <laughs> like coming through and shit. Because this plot is like all okay. water, but so I had to go underground. I'm gonna hollow the bitch out. It's gonna have an entrance coming in. So it's gonna have like a small ass entrance above the water. You gonna come in, you go underground to this dope ass fucking arcade and shit. I might have like a concert hall or something. Like literally, it's a, it's my own like metaverse plot. You could you could do whatever. If you, if you, if you got the the technical know how, you can make it happen. Okay, I can see. I get high as hell and sit here, <laughs> <laughs> bruh. I'm telling you. It's it's pretty it's pretty relaxing. And my OCD be so happy. <laughs> like I gotta watch cause I'm like right by the water, so I might fuck around spring a leak up this bitch somewhere. I just play music, hop on Twitch. And start breaking blocks. And building shit. It's just like that. I mean, but and in creative mode, you get all the blocks. You don't gotta. You get all the gear. Just get a, and then with all this stuff, you can just make other shit with it. And you got all your weapons, all your tools, like my axe, my sword. I can put my sword in there if I want to. All my armor, and they give you all the best shit in here. I mean, since I'm a landowner, I get all this shit. I get everything. So I'm going to deck this bitch out. What's up? That's pretty fucking dope. I ain't really get into it like that. I'd be on the Discord and be jealous as hell how people be talking about it. I'm like, y'all can't wait to get in there. Because, you know, you before you start a game, you're like, you know, you don't want to just jump in there. You got to get your mind right before you go in there. Like, you, about to, you about to commit. <laughs> Make it all serious and shit. Hell yeah. Are you ready? You got that shot. <laughs> but yeah. But I'm gonna let you go. Really just pushing a whole generation of like incels deeper into like <laughs> what? Yeah, a lot of this metaverse shit. So I'm all like a lot of dudes that are already aren't like, you know what I'm saying? Real good with the ladies and stuff. This is like giving you even more reason not to go outside like like, nah, I think I'm gonna just build out my my land plot on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I'm, like, gonna go, I'm gonna work on my land. <laughs> right. But, but, it's a different conversation when that land is really making you money. <laughs> like, nah, I'm gonna go ahead. And, uh, That's what I'm saying. That makes it even worse. <laughs> right. Makes it even worse. <laughs> like, <laughs> no. I'm saying, you cool. Like, you already been outside. I'm talking for the people that oh, don't shit. be outside already. <laughs> It's like you really not gonna be outside. You find shit like this. This is over with. And, like pack it up. Exactly. Get you an Oculus and just you know. Oh yeah, and, and that's the thing. That's what I was talking about. That's what I was saying. The Oculus and they got the Quest Craft now. They're coming out with the Quest Craft. So all that is is gonna be Minecraft virtual reality. So I'm gonna be doing this in the Oculus, building my world, farming and shit, and selling goods and. Meeting people and walking around and seeing them. And... All right, so I'm trying to clear this wall out before it collapses and shit. Cause there's water right over here. I don't. I just don't know how. <laughs> right, bright spot. And yeah, like if I go over here, 
I can't break it because that's not my plot. That's why I'm building walls. You know, that's where your that's where your land ends. Yeah. Well, it's it goes it stretches like it, it's it's a fifty by fifty block. This is just a little hallway I built out, trying to make sure that if it does flood, I don't flood everything. <laughs> so. So yeah. technically, somebody could just come through and just destroy that wall. They you could. Know, just be like. <laughs> they could. Yep. Just big ass, <laughs> hollow ass living room. Exactly. <laughs> and so that's why. Then you have to build a wall up. That's why out here, I'm like, I'm finding the perimeter. Like this, I'm in this corner. I'm finding the perimeter and putting blocks up. So it's from here. This is this corner. And then. Oops. Here's the other corner. And then that's why I'm like trying to dig around so I can get it. And then it's, it goes like, I don't even know how far back. Because I, I hit water, so I had to stop. But it keeps going. Wait, no, I think this is it. Oh, shit, no, I can keep going. I don't want to hit water. Fuck, no. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait on that. But, um, yeah, so I, all I'm trying to do is make a perimeter. But then it goes like, I don't know, um, 124 or 100 something, 20 feet deep. And then above ground, it goes to like 280 something feet above ground. So it's a large amount of space you can work with. All that space is yours. All oh, it's mine. Okay. So there's water over here and shit. I'm just trying to make a perimeter because it's cut weird outside too. Like you see the sun setting up there. That's all I've been doing in here, just relaxing, smoking, and this until I get to the point where it's all set up and I can start building a bitch out. And they got some crazy ass builds. People are doing some crazy shit with this. With, with all of this. Oh shit! Is that? Uh oh. No, it's just hollow up there. Yeah, and then you'll find you'll find like caves, you'll find like waterfalls, you'll find like civilizations and shit. <laughs> like digging through the earth and shit, you'll find some crazy. It's, it's wild how they got this set up. It's not just straight blocks. It's hollow like... earth. <laughs> oh shit! Did I? Oh, I thought that was water coming in. Yo. But yeah, that's why I be on. To figure out how I'm gonna do this. Cause I'm trying to get back upstairs, but I'm like literally, I went down to the ocean floor, dug a hole, closed it up, and it started that way. So I'm like literally underground, <laughs> underwater. There's nothing but ocean under above me. <laughs> I'm trying to dig it out, hollow it all out, <laughs> and build a whole box under, like you know, dome. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, this one got to be like super, like a cave. Like, feel like a miner, you know? Like, shit about to cave in on me. Basically, what you doing? Oh, yeah. My, Minecraft. Oh, shit. Hold up. Um. Because I think it's going to try to play. I think it just finished up. Uh, I got to find all the taxis. Hold on. I got to find all the taxis, but no, I'm a human. Because robots don't know what taxis are. Idiots. Alright. I'm going to put this to the side real quick. I'm going to show you this one. And I'll let you go. But you got to at least see this shit real quick. So this one's cool because a lot of it you can um auto auto do a lot of it. You don't have to play too much, you can just really enjoy the game. And the whole, you know, ecosystem of it all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, see I had the creator, you create her, like you create your own NFT. 
like from the hair, the style, to the color, to the, you know, everything. I mean, her face, shape, everything. So, I mean, I only say that because it's like, do it. You create an NFT, so you might as well make it yours, right? So. <laughs> I mean, like, the graph is pretty fire. It's not like that trailer, but... <laughs> yeah. We're a little blockchain game. And so you would do shit like come over here and I'll have to meditate. If I meditate, I gain... Um, gain resources and whatnot. Different ways to gain resources. Um, like... I mean, I could go through everything, but... I, once you get it set up, then I'll, go th I'll walk you through everything, because... It's a lot to it. I want to show you a couple things though. You can do a lot of shit while she's working. Uh, here's the Draco and shit. I'll show you that real quick. This is the ecosystem of it all. So you collect this. You, you mine dark steel in the game. And you put it in here. You smelt it to Hydra. Or you can take Hydra and smelt it into dark, uh, you know, dark energy. Or dark steel. And then... Yeah, oh, okay, so they added the NFT and everything in here. See, I'm not set up here yet. Okay, so that's what the update means. And then you go in here, you got your equipment, and all your good shoes. You do a lot of crafting just to power up your player. And what I mean by like auto, you can do a lot of auto shit. Like say, right right now, do meditating in auto. But if I want her to meditate everywhere, I could just put auto mine. Now, if I want to come over here, if I, anywhere I go, she'll start auto mining. She'll just find somewhere, the closest thing to mine, and start mining it. Because it's on. So that's like a nice little thing, you know, to get you through the game. If you want to fight someone, See, she's about to go there. If you want to fight someone, boom, you click on that. And these are all the powers that she she would have that I've uh, acquired and upgraded and stuff like that. And, uh, and uh, actually use them, all you do is click on it. So that's all it is. Or you can hit this nifty little button. Auto battle. all the work or if you want to get involved you know what I mean you can start pressing some buttons there's also hot keys on the keyboard you can go press this a hundred times I can pick which target I want her to go after switch it up Obviously, they reset everything because I do not.
cut it off. I'm not to fight no more. But they'll still probably chase you. about to drive me oh my god that was league of kingdoms again <laughs> it was just sitting in the background like you got too much shit running that's <laughs> i know that's why i was like what the hell is this well, your task manager every now and then i cannot believe Give it a look yeah you're right you're really that's it right damn all right so you was able to hear the game though i'm sitting there like jacking all these fucking yeah volumes i'm like yo I'm not losing it. Yeah, all I was hearing was the game. Okay, good, 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 good. But I'm going to show you something real quick. Yeah. So I just shut that shit off. <laughs> like, nah, yeah. But yeah, the game is actually pretty fucking... That's why I couldn't even explain shit. I'm like, yo, what is this? I'm going crazy over here. Yeah. All right. You said what? Yeah, it looked pretty cool. I'm about to check that one out. You got to. I'm about to see what the uh, the plug in there was talking about. But yeah, you ain't got a. Um. Whatever. Yeah, but when you get it all set up, um, I can definitely walk you through this whole thing. It's like. It's like it's problem. Problem. But yeah, they they're so new and they keep doing all these changes that they do maintenance like at least once a week. Y'all know this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you like certain things, like because he was talking about like you know, make it as passive as possible in this game. Make, Pretty right, gives, right. gives you a lot of passive possibilities. Like you can go here and do missions, and this is a good way to earn a lot of shit. And all you literally do is um, I see these are already set up. That's dope. But I can just go to accept mission, accept mission, accept mission. But I can't accept more than ten. And then I'll just go up here auto play. Boom. Start. And then she just go do her thing. And I collect everything that I get. If she's powerful enough, she has no problem getting through this. She don't have no problem getting through this. And then they give you a whole bunch of daily shit that you can do. Collect all your little rewards and all that good stuff. Well, she's getting she get busy. She's straight to it. <laughs> um, and then there's all the daily tasks and shit. I pretty much got this down to like a science. I know it, it, once you do it enough, you just come in here, you bang out the whole daily quest, and you get hella coins and everything. Um, also come in here, they got so much stuff to like do upgrades and stuff. And go to the cold deck. They got hella things you can do, like go to your codex and you can add all your summoners. You can enchant uh, equipment and um, to boost all to boost all these different skills. And all this does is help you get to a point where you're powerful enough to um, 
mine against other NFT characters. Because the thing about it is, once you go into the uh, the mining in the metaverse, you start mining your NFT character. All other players have the chance to knock you out by, you know, fighting you out of the position so they can mine instead of you. So there's only a certain amount of positions available. So now part of the game is fighting for a position to stake your NFT. So that's why it, playing the game, part of it is making sure your character is strong enough. And they have different period, different skills. And then you can, you can do like up to like, you can you can do like up to five characters at um in the metaverse at once so but i think on the game i think on any computer you can do up to you can do up to four games at once i only did one but you see you got game one and game two so you can actually play two games at the same time so you have two characters and stuff that's why i had two on there so you have like two different nfts basically exactly and you just build them at the same time but I didn't do that because I really wasn't... I, I didn't know how invested I was even going to be, so I wasn't about to use all that processing power. I didn't know how, what I was doing at the beginning. And, but now that I see it, I'm like, okay, maybe once I get this one set up, I might start on a new one. Or I might stake enough with that one or I'll just buy another one. You know what I mean? So, you know, you get early enough in the game. And then you got all this other... Like, this is a whole bunch of shit in here where it's just a lot of crafting in here. You do a lot of crafting. And all this is just to make your, to get through the conquest, to get the different portals, to get through different um, level leveling up, and you just get enthralled into it, and you get you, you get so into it because after you realize how the DeFi system works, it's like it's now you're at work. You know what I mean? Now it's like uh, I, I gotta get this done. I gotta like. <laughs> I got. I'm trying to. You know what I mean? I got a nice amount of. Uh, I got a nice, nice amount of dark steel up here. You know, I can trade all this in dark steel. This hydra is like, I think eleven per hydra right now. Eleven dollars per hydra right now, something like that. And it takes about three thousand things to do them. I already. This, I put hydra in here. That's how I got some of dark steel. So I just melted some of my hydra down. So now I can upgrade a lot of my weapons. And shit. So you know what yeah, I mean? Like, get that shot. but but you see what I'm saying? It's, you, you, like once you once you start playing it, you're like, okay. The, the more you play, you'll just there's more. Uh, okay, I get it now. And then you'll get into it, and it's like, all right, well, if I want to earn more, I'm gonna have to do this. And now you're playing a game for your finances and shit. And that's why I'm trying to get to the point where, because you can you can make money, you can start earning now. But once you get into an NFT, I feel like that's when the real earning begins. So now you got a real reason to level. You know what I mean? Now, now this game is like it's not Call of Duty anymore. It's like I kind of I, I need to, I need to get my yeah. NFT up. It's like now Minecraft ain't just Minecraft no more. It's like yo, I need to yo, I'm busy. All right, like I'm trying to build this land. You know, at right? work, right? I'm at work, yo. I'm in the field today. All right. <laughs> Real. In the field. Well, even like the Splinterlands card game. It's the same thing. It's like I can show you that one. It's, I haven't played that one much either yet. I haven't played that one at all, actually. So, a lot of this stuff I'm really just now diving here first to. League of Kingdoms was like my first one I was messing with. In year four, of course. But as I keep going into them and them, I'm starting to see the value in a lot of these uh, alien worlds, um, the adventure guild, the adventure guild, a bunch of, and then all the polygon ones. I didn't even touch those because the polygon price is still, you know, I think it's good to get into it now. But it's like I wasn't looking to spend four hundred dollars to buy a horse to race right now. You know what I mean? Maybe I make some money over here on these blockchains and then transfer it over. And that's how I'm looking at it. Like. It's, it's the building it up, you know. I'm just flipping, you know, from a from a nick to a dime to a dime to an eight, you know. So, right. Let me get back to the work shit though. Really? Let me just start yelling at me. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Do your thing. I know. It's, it's about to walk through that door and bug the hell out of me. Facts. You still on the podcast, right? Yes. You still playing Minecraft? Yeah. I'm securing our future. 
<laughs> it's called a blockchain. It means the monkey is mine. You see that shit? This is a great time. It's a great time. <laughs> it means the monkey is mine. Oh yeah, tomorrow is uh yeah. tomorrow's international uh International Women's Day. And it's Taco Tuesday. So I'm buying Wagyu and making well, Wagyu tacos. There you go. <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> we making we grilling Wagyu tacos. Like look at <laughs> Ignorance. <laughs> <laughs>